This is a Lenovo 100S IdeaPad 14iBR and I'm actually not going to repair this but, I, but I'm going to find why it doesn't turn on, what's the problem. Um, I've got this laptop simply to use the LCD hinge and the back cover. Cheaper than buying a faulty lap, cheaper to buy a faulty laptop than all those components separately. So, just before I swap the LCD and the top panel over to another same model, I'm actually going to find the fault, maybe something simple, and you can see the process in this video. So let's open it up and have a look on the inside. And because we have another working same model laptop, we can, in diet mode, uh, quickly identify the fault by doing comparisons. First thing I would always recommend you do is check if the charging port is working and proper voltage is coming through. In this case we're looking for 20 volts. And for some model I cannot find any voltages coming in, so I'm not sure where the problem is yet. I decided to check the charger, see if there is any voltage on the charger. But the pinhole is too small for the probe to fit in. Finally, I can read 20 volts coming out of the charger. This is good news, so our charger is fine. And here we can now see the 20 volts is actually coming into the laptop, so our charging port is also fine. And we can see here the charging light is coming on currently charging the battery. So that will indicate maybe 5 volts or 3.3 volts is also there.
So I decided to fully disassemble the laptop and have a look at the motherboard in detail by removing the metal plate shield which is covering most of the components. I don't see any physical damage, it looks pretty good from this end. We still get a charging light, but it's not turning on. Time to bring the second laptop, which is actually a working laptop but with broken hinges and other problems. But the motherboard is definitely working, so let's do a quick comparison. With a multimeter, I start to compare results on both laptops and see if there is any differences and maybe something obvious will pop up. I decided to have a feel around the laptop to see if any areas were getting hot and I immediately noticed one particular area getting hot. So here, it, here is what it looks like under a thermal camera. And just before using the thermal camera, if you apply a little bit of alcohol and plug the charger in or try to turn on, you will see one area quickly evaporates. And that particular chip, I suspect, is what's faulty. Oh God. So here it is under the thermal camera, we can see that particular chip is getting hot.
The chip turned out to be a very critical chip. It manages the power for the entire system, and obviously that is what got damaged. I suspect this part will require a replacement in many of the models so that you utilize this part. It is a very com very common fault and I, th I think it is a common component and you will see it available for sale everywhere. Here is the chip under the microscope and I haven't got one of these unfortunately and I'm not going to repair this unit as uh, so there is no need for it at the moment. So I'll mark it as the faulty spot and we might replace it in the future. Let's see how it goes. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.